Under 10 left to go. Maryville looking for one last chance. Give it up. Maryville will shoot off a couple blockers and they find the back of the cage. Flores came through on that rebound. Uh, you can tell his presence was missed just by plays like that. Getting in front of the net, getting that rebound and picking up a greasy goal there. Yeah, that's where Flores makes his money, taking out the garbage. You can see Liberty looking to block that drive in. Rebound comes up, Flores in the right spot at the right time. Bernstein just not able to get the ki kick save out far enough. Flores beats him. And what a way to head into the first intermission for Maryville. I mean, you could say they have a lot of dogs all throughout their lines. As Kallendike makes one miss, he's looking to find another one for Solano. at one apiece. The first one's not going to go in, but you got to get a rebound on this goalie. So great play, way to go to the net. You never know what you're going to pick up there. Great work by Barcelona, following up Kalendike, and it felt like he was going to have to be that line one, that high-powered, scoring arsenal. Bartel looks in, drive, fight for Solano! Back to Olsen! The power play finally strikes gold and it couldn't come at a better time. That was a great play there, a shot on net, two guys in front. Can't tie everyone up when you're down a man and Coffey made the first save but he couldn't corral the rebound there. We knew it was going to have to be a goal out in front off a couple chances to best coffee. We talked about it all broadcast long, and that's what Liberty was able to create. Curling out is Maryville, back up to the point. Shot in, Bernstein, five hole tied up. Maryville breaks the slump on the power play, and it couldn't come at a better time. Costly, pa costly penalties at costly times can affect you in a big way. And Maryville, Maryville hadn't had a power play goal all night, but if you keep testing them, they were able to find one there with a good shot with a lot of traffic in front. Kalendike almost acting as a screener there for Bernstein. Went through the five hole at Kalendike and then followed through the wicket, wickets of the net minder. Trying to send it into the middle. Olsen fighting hard. Kept it in at the blue line by the Saints. Five seconds left. Kalendike's there. Shot put in. Bernstein turns to the side. Rebound. Chance. One second. Shot blocked off. Oh. Had your heart beating at the last and final seconds once again as Bernstein able to hold down the fourth when it mattered most. And through the three periods of regulation, we don't have a winner. 2-2 two is the score line. Anchored by Kovic behind him. Versa Lono. Rebound given up. Olsen can't find it. Kovic on the second effort. No! Under 10 seconds left to go. Versa Lono knows it. Fires through. Up and out of play. Face off impending. Three seconds. One last chance for Liberty. Maryville looking to stand strong. I think everyone in Mar on Maryville was throwing their body in front of that puck. The goalie, the forwards, the defenseman, and puck was just bouncing enough. They couldn't get a good handle on it and put, put it away. They've been doing that all night long. They're more than willing to throw their body on the line. It's coffee. In his crease, mask off, you can tell. Big face off here, one more chance for the Flames. Quick win and... Maryville will win the face off. And one overtime period will not be enough to decide a winner. Looks like Finch will go ahead first for the Flames. Ryan Finch has instantly cemented himself as one of the most lethal sharpshooters on this Liberty team since he arrived on campus. And they're going to look to use that to their advantage against Ed Coffey. He'll be the first one out for the Flames. Both these teams have been living off the backs of their netminders, and they're going to ask them to head out and do that once more here in shootouts. My good friend Mike Binney, who's a goalie, he always says, shoot the puck. Don't try and stick out too much, especially with the bad ice. So we'll see what happens here. Coffee comes out, passes crease. Finch off the iron. Finch 
got the look he was looking for. Adam Glove side just, oh. The ping off the iron turns Finch away and you see it on his face. Mere inches from setting the advantage for LU, not able to come away with it. Hunter Flores, he led things off for Maryville in the scoring department earlier today. He'll be the first one out. Bernstein sets him away. Nicholas Bernstein, what a breakout performance for the sophomore netminder. Flores tried to change his speed. Didn't get Bernstein to buy a great save. Glad he didn't pull the Kuznets off and try to <laughs> come to a crawl. Callendike. Puts it home! Jacob Callendike, who else? Looks like he's weaving his way through, trying to get a little opening on that glove side. It's two shots to the glove side. Zero saves, but only one goal. <laughs> could be something we could see the play continue to key in on. Now it's going to be Maryville, Sam Edwards. He misfires off the skate, and he goes again. Sharp angle, Bernstein shuts it off. Costly error for Maryville. Now it's Jason Foltz up next for LU. Let's take another look. Took his eye off the puck for just a moment, and it couldn't have come at a worse time. Jason Fultz, 2020 ACHA Rookie of the Year. Can't beat Coffee. Great stick there by Coffee, or he had his opening. Good patience by Fultz coming down. Gets him to bite. One more, one more. Just loses it there. First time, Liberty looks to go stick side. First save, Coffee finds in shootouts. Lucas Adams, the junior. He'll be the man for Maryville. The game waiting in the balance. Bernstein says no! Oh my! No Hunter Verostic, no problem! Bernstein walks it off for the Flames. What a huge save. Three big saves there to end up the shootout. Great display of confidence by Bernstein there. So for David Semenia and our entire crew, I'm Connor Young saying so long from Lynchburg, Virginia, where the final score is 3-1 Liberty. All games airing on the ESPN networks are streaming live and archived on the ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.